Happy Friday, my friend. It's Pat Sloan here, and it is Holly Jolly Wreath Day. You should be working on your wreaths. They should look glorious. You might have a few done. You might have them in parts, an assembly line, wherever you are. Today, I am going to talk about doing this bottom half of the wreath. Then I have uh, some new lights that I've been using, art lights I've been using. I want to show them to you, show you the features of them. They're very cool. I have a few other things then. And at the very end, I'm going to tell you why I'm wearing a bandage on my nose. And that'll be at the very end. So first, 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 here's the pattern. This is what we're making from my friend Bev. Now the part here when we're doing these bottoms sections where the bottom half of the bow we just hold it up. You can see that some of them have the interconnector. So we're doing the bottom half, this strip that has the bottom half of the bow. Here's the top half that's incorporated into the wreath. Uh, and you have to be, uh, you know, on your A game a little bit because three of the blocks will have none of this. They will, and then some will have it on this side, some on this side. And then I believe there's just one that has it uh, on both. You'll have it on both sides. And that's the middle, no, two of them. These two, these two in the middle have the connector because you, you're going to have a red square here as well then. So you make that center unit. That's what makes up these four really cute um, squares on point. So you have some that are on the, the right side, some that are two on the left side. Yeah, two, two, two on both, and then three with none of them. So I'm going to just lay them out on my mock-up or my sample one because my sample one I am actually going to make for my door. So let's take a look at that. The interesting part about working with this uh, pattern and any pattern that is using a jelly roll to do a lot of different shapes is seeing how you can take a two and a half inch strip and create some other units like the two and a half inch half square triangle. For some reason, my brain doesn't uh, do as well with using strips for making half square triangles. My brain just doesn't go there. I always have to read a direction to say like, okay, okay, that's what I do. Yes, it makes total sense. So if you're like me, I'm just gonna show you exactly how it works. So let's go down here. It's not hard. It's just not something my brain goes to. So we have the strips and you're basically cutting your two squares from the strip. And then it's all about, it's a sew and flip, but this is the whole unit versus like a sew and flip onto a strip. And so you have one that's bigger. This is a sew and flip where they're exactly the same. So here we go. We have some units. We'll get a little closer in here now. So if you are working on a machine without a laser light, like my Baby Lock Solaris has, then you'll probably want to draw a line on the light side. I'm using one of these wash away markers. You could use a pencil or a pen. Uh, this line though will stay. You're not gonna cut this away. It is going to stay in there. So be sure it's light and doesn't, uh, you know, shadow through your fabric. So I have that. So the next thing I did was take that line and sew directly on it. So that is what, you know, what we're going to do. Well, I flip it over there so you can see. So you're gonna sew directly on the line. And now we have the unit that can be made into a half square triangle because you're going to flip up and press to the one side. So you're gonna be pressing it open. And here I have one that is pressed. And once you press it, then you will remove the, this side that is got the multiple layers. So here's the red and the white. We need to remove that extra side. So take your ruler and do about a quarter inch seam. And then you will have this uh, extra pieces to use how you might. So now we have our half square triangle and this will be used in the base of the wreath. So let me just get two of them here. You have uh, the strips that go on either side and then you will be rotating your half square triangle there so you just rotate it to get it to the right position to make the bow tie and rotate rotate there we go sometimes I have to rotate more than once so there we go we have oh in here we just that one's not pressed so there we go there is how the wreath will look with these units at the bottom and I've got one sewn up. Here we go. Ta-da! <laughs> and like I just said, 
you will follow the pattern directions for which ones need these connectors, these sew and flip units to create those middle uh, squares on point, those red, four red squares on point. So you do need to have a little bit extra on all but three of, so six. Six of your wreaths will have something. And that is how you're going to get your wreath all ready. And I'm going to take the one I've been working and demoing with, and I will make one, um, put a little border on it. I'm not sure I'll show you as we go along. So by the end of the month, I will have that ready to quilt for my front door. I'm working on getting bindings on all of those Halloween quilts, and I realize, ah, I should show you this because you will be so proud of me. So proud. Okay, first of all, I got the bats and boo i got the binding on it i use the same binding there as on that edge then for the spooky sampler i've got the binding made i've got the hanging sleeve on it the label is glued down everything's ready so i can just do this one evening this is all ready to go then i was walking by this one shelf of stuff i have and i went like ah, there's the kitty halloween fabric jolly bar so along we did that sampler i don't know if you remember i know you remember you made it so many of you made it so here it is this was the one and ta-da! it has been sitting there waiting i think i made a mistake by putting it over on the edge so here was you know because i then forgot i forgot about it so you know the cute 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 fabric with the kitties see them okay so I have the sleeve made and there's a label somewhere probably just dumped it on the floor when I picked it up but binding this is where you'll be so proud of me I remembered that I well of course at first I was thinking well did I save any of that dot on the border or just was I going to use black and I thought I'm going to look in the binding drawer <laughs> this is why I have a drawer of binding parts so I found this one now the orange on this one is a bit brighter because this is more peachy in that fabric line, but I'm like, I don't care. I think I'm going to use it because it also has some orange, where is it? Whoops, some orange dot. Well, it be the other side, orange dot. But then I found some of this, which I don't think is enough. So I think I'm going to splice these dots in with this for a scrappy binding, which is not that much work. I just you know, first I'll measure this and see how much more I need, or I'll measure this and see how much of that I need, see which, you know, where, which way I'm going to go, because I could spl maybe splice out, you know, and disperse, and disperse it around, whatever that word is, you know the word. <laughs> anyway, I'm so excited. I'm so excited to have these. Yes. <laughs> so that is my rush to finish binding on all of these. Like, why do I leave it to the last minute? Why, why, why? I got in two new lights to use and I just love them. I've had them for a little while now so I can show you them. I've tried them out, I've been testing them. So they're both odd lights. One is the floor standing. There you can see it. And I want to tell you a little bit about the features this one has. And the other is from their wellness series and that is this one. I've got it plugged in so I want to show you some features of that. And so th that's the sort of tabletop one. And this is their really cool wellness series. So let me tell you about that one first. It is, besides having beautiful daylight, you know, toned lighting, it has three settings, but it also for the wellness setting has a sanitation uh, setting so that it can, you can put your phone down on the bed of this, put on the sanitation setting to clear off bacteria. That's pretty cool. I'm gonna show you that light because it is really neat. It's like a, a blue light or a black light rather. So here is the, you know, you push it on and you get, you know, it's hard to tell the three, there's three tones. I'm gonna to put it back on and I'm going to hold it and it's going to switch to a black light. So now it is on the black light setting, which is what the setting they have for killing uh, bacteria. And it can also be darker. So you just set your phone there and put the light down. So that is this guy here. Pretty cool, pretty cool. I like it. I really like the size of this. I'm going to put it where I sit and hand sew because that is just a perfect size. 
The other is the floor lamp, which I was in desperate need of another floor lamp. My uh, sewing space here, I work in the middle of the room. All the plugs are on the outside of the room and it's a little hard to get the plug. So this one's not plugged in right now, but it has five settings, uh, one light tone, five settings, but there's a couple really neat features. This will spread apart the, the actual lamps. So there's two lamps. See, I don't have it on so I can hold it up for you. So there's two lamps and you can either put them together or if you have an area and I've been using them spread out like this so that I can get more surface light. It also has a stand so you can put your tablet or your phone. So if you're sewing, you can actually put this right near you, put the lighting and then put your phone or your tablet and watch a show or listen to a show like, like maybe my videos. <laughs> There's also a charger in this one, so you can charge your phone, and there is a charger on this uh, small one, too, in the back. So the back has a, has a charger, which is just fantastic. I love it. It's like when we were going to hotels and things where they finally started putting chargers for your phones by the bed and, you know, multiple places along the desk because we all have things that need charge from our tablets and our phones and our computers that we take along your mp3 players anything like that that you're taking so i just love these lights uh, the outlight company makes a lot of different lights i have used their lights forever forever and ever i think they're from some of the first lights that i bought to help me with my sewing many years ago this feature is just the best this where you can spread the light out and then i think the second best is the tray so if you like my desk is tall so i can't really use the tray when i'm sitting at my desk i have to use that if i'm in a, a regular chair i have i have cutting height table but this is absolutely fantastic and i wanted to be able to share it with you so in case you are looking for a light maybe you'll check out one of these one other fun thing that came out today over at the fat quarter shop are these fun dresden plates it is a tutorial that is just on their video uh, and i'm going to have to make one of these because they're just so fun so you go over there and i think they're running a contest so you want to go find out all about that my friend let me just give you an update on my nose uh, i had to have a biopsy done of a spot that's on there and it is basal cell carcinoma which is skin cancer uh, it's the most common kind one in four people experience this several of my family members have had it so that means you will be seeing bandage on my nose for a bit i will have to have surgery to remove it uh, and then it's a, a one-day process uh, to have the surgery and then whatever reconstruction they have to do depending on how much they have to remove uh, and hopefully that's all done just in one day and then I will still have a bandage on my nose so I don't have a date yet for when that will happen uh, but until then I'll probably be wearing this bandage due to having the biopsy and then afterwards probably a much bigger bandage <laughs> and maybe a black eye, who knows? I'm assuming if they're doing stuff up there, I'm probably gonna end up with a black eye, but uh, whatever. So we'll get that taken care of, but I just wanted to let you know that's what's going on. Uh, and now we'll go back to regular quilting. So you are going to work on getting your wreath blocks done. I know you started, some of you may have not started. So now's the time, get out your, fabrics and just start getting them cut up and ready to go next week we will talk about the sashing getting all that sashing cut and then the week after the border so that's the process to take us through october to make uh, our holly jolly wreath and i can't i'm so excited to do have one of them then to put on my front door because i'm really enjoying having something up there now all right my friend if you see any spots on your skin, go have them checked. Don't be waiting around. Just have them checked. I love you. Mwah. See you online.